Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. Today, I'm going to talk about the most common mistake in bioinformatics, one off error. Actually, in one of my previous uh, blog posts, I talked about some common mis uh, bioinformatics mistakes. But this one off error is the most common bioinformatics mistakes people make. That's why I think it deserves a separate post or even a separate video about it. Even a lot of experienced bi uh, bioinformaticians and programmers, they get it wrong. And this mistake prevails actually in many bioinformatics software. Okay, so what is the one-off uh, mistake? So we know uh, genomic uh, files such as you know, BAT files, VCF files, or GTL files, they usually come with a coordinate system, okay? For example, to describe a region or a position in a genome, you specify something like this, okay? Chromosome three, four to seven, right? This means this region is on chromosome three and from base four to seven. But there are more actually nuances here because there are two different coordinate systems in genomics, the zero based and the one based coordinate system, okay? As you can see here, so the zero based, you count and the and base is starting with zero, okay? And the one based, you count with uh, starting with one, okay? So for this, so, um, moreover, the zero base is actually half closed and half open. So to describe the same genomics region, right? TTACT, right here, here is uh, one to five, okay? But however, if you use the uh, one based is two to five, and and this actually here is uh, close. You have closed for the start and end, but here you have uh, closed on the left and open on the right. Okay, and if you want to describe the like single nucleotide here, single bases here, like, uh, this is G here, it, it will be like eight and nine, so half closed and half open. But for one based, it's actually nine and nine, okay? The same position. So why does this matter, right? <laughs> because different bioinformatic uh, file formats, they use very uh, different systems, coordinate systems, okay? For example, in BAT file, which is essentially the easiest uh, format, the chromosome start and end, the easiest uh, file format, it is zero based. GTL file and GF file, those are one based. The same file, which is an alignment file, so you align those sequences into a genome or transcriptome, then it will tell you where it, it is aligned. And this one, same file, is one based. It's a regular TXT file. What's more interesting is that the BAM file, which is the binary form of the same file, it uses zero based. So it can be really confusing actually. So I highly actually recommend you to read this old post uh, on BioStars here. So I open it here. So essentially it talks about the same thing. So it's just a different way to think about the one based and zero based, okay? So this is the same DNA sequence and you, you count the one base, you count start with one and the zero base, you count start, uh, start with zero here, okay? And if you, for example, if you want to actually indicate a single nucleotide here, the same thing, one base, uh, like this base four here, which is a G here, so it will be chromosome one and four to four and G, right? But for zero base, it will be chromosome one, three to four, three to four, and, and that's actually how you describe that single nucleotide. How about a uh, range of nucleotides, right? So for example, A, C, G, there's uh, three nucleotides. In one base, it will be two to four, right? Two to four, chromosome one, two to four, A, C, G. Zero base will be chromosome one, uh, one to four, uh, one to four here, one to four, so. And uh, if you want to indicate a single nucleotide, uh, just like we, I just talked about in my blog post. So if, for example, this uh, fifth nucleotide is in one base, T change to A, right? And it will be denoted as five to five and T change to A. 
the in and zero based will be four to five and t to a okay and you see it uh, it's actually very easy to make mistakes okay if you are not paying attention to different coordinate systems okay well something is worse is that in the programming languages for example r and python they also use different counting systems right r is one based and python is zero based and if you use different languages programming languages to analyze genomics data you must also be very careful here i just have one example here okay for example this is a bat file and we know bat file is zero based so in this example we have two genomic regions chromosome 1 0 to 1000 or chromosome 1 1000 to 2000 however if you import this bat files in, into R using R track layer import function internally the, it will return a G-range objects and it will actually become chromosome 1 1 to 1000 and chromosome 1 1000 1 and 2000 so you plus 1 actually in the beginning Okay, so this function converts it into uh, one base internally. However, if you read this bad files, actually, uh, you use just read the table or read underscore TSV, and then you want to convert that into G ranges objects and use this genomic ranges, make G ranges from data frame function to convert it into G ranges object like manually. You, you need to actually add one into the uh, start before you actually converting them into a G-range object, okay? Similarly, if you write a G-range object to disk using the r -track layer export function, you don't need to worry, R will actually convert it back to the zero base um, in the file, right? But however, if you make a data frame out of the G-range objects and you want to write that data frame into a bat file, into the, uh, into the disk, remember you have to uh, actually minus one actually before you do it so start minus one so you have to have to actually um, this start point you have to minus one to get it back to the original bat format so i hope actually you learned something new and this is actually a very important topic and uh, we should pay more attention about the different coordinate systems for different genomics uh, data uh, formats and uh, in the blog, I have a, a link for uh, further reading the UCSC Genome Browser Coordinates uh, Counting System. So if you want to read more, uh, feel free to go and read it. So I will have all the my own blog post linked in the description of this video as well. So uh, that's it for today and happy learning. Also, by the way, don't forget to click subscribe if you like this content. I will see you next time.